by popular demand. This shows how much I love you guys. Um, I've been sitting on the fence about doing a collection video for months now. And I'm finally stable enough, happy with my collection to actually do it. And I asked the people I trust the most. And they said, go for it. So, and quite frankly, this is the third time I try it. I've tried it two times. And both times, the first time my best friend Melissa called me. And the second time, my boy Donovan called me. So, this is the third time. The first time I was 17 minutes in. Second time I was 9 minutes in. This time, my phone's on airplane mode. There's no interruptions. Let's get this done. All right. But before we get anywhere, before we look at all these beautiful pieces, I want to give a shout out to Danny Hansom, my boy. If you guys have not seen the Babe Stussy Frogman video, go watch that. He steps up, gets off the leash, and quite frankly, goes at those people who buy G's for the money, not the love, not the passion, not the fun. And they're quite frankly making this game slightly not as entertaining as it used to be. But my boy Danny Hansom came right at them, and he also came right at those groups that try to compete with us. But when you have almost 500 of the world's best collectors united, it's kind of hard to stop us. Like I said, we're sharks in the water. The rest of them are just Long John Silvers. And we illuminate the darkness. We bring the truth out. And we'll pick up those rare pieces that, quite frankly, almost nobody has ever seen. And we'll bring them to the light like we're supposed to. So, Danny, my man, I salute you. Um... I feel the same way. I'm just glad somebody else said it because, quite frankly, I talk like that all the time and I feel like I'm getting repetitive. But when somebody like you says it, somebody who's a pioneer in the game, it makes it that much better. So, my boy, I'm right there with you. If you ever need anything, you know, I'll be the first one off the leash and I'll attack these people that, quite frankly, don't know what they're doing or what they're talking about. We do this for fun. We do this for the love and it's not going to stop. And because of that, let's do what we do best. All right? So let's get into these watches. Complete darkness here in the room. Only light is the flash from my phone. So you guys can get up close and personal with G-Dub's pieces. First things first. The GR. Right? Let's cut the back. GR. 8900NV. Part of the Navy Blue Military Series that just dropped. Really, really sick. Came with 89 and 79. Quite frankly, I like the 89 better. Tough solar. It's just that sick of a piece. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Put that back. Next watch needs no introduction. DW6900 KR8. It's the Crank Limited Edition collab. Um, Spackle silver paint on the piece. You guys can see it right there. Bam. It's just that beautiful watch. Picked it up at Macy's. I picked that up at Boscov's way back when. Picked this up at Macy's. It was part of the friends and family sale. Um, picked it up for like 85. I've been offered as much as 500 for it, but quite frankly, you just can't do it. Look at the reflection of leaves. Oh, you can't see it because it's flashing the phone. But this thing is reflecting light all over the place. Look at that. Whew. Put that back. Next watch needs no interruption. Need no inter introduction either. This is a DW6900 WTC1 Wu-Tang Clan collab, 20th anniversary, beautiful work on the band. I only wear my limited on special occasions, and I have not found a special occasion good enough to rock this baby. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Cash rules everything around me. Green, get that money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> DW6900 PL. Four. It's part of the Polarized collection that just dropped. Shout out to my boy Chris for helping me out with this one. Shout out to Monty for helping me out with that one. This is a raspberry joint from the Polarized collection. Look how that, look how that purple looks when the light reflects off of it. Whew. Oh boy. Glossy raspberry finish. Ugh, this watch is just filthy, filthy watch. Um, Moving on up. GLX 150X7. Last, this is the latest of information's collabs with G-Shock. Um, I know there's a lot of people think this watch was a bust, but um, if you guys have seen the colors that have dropped in the 150, they've been like purple and pink and black with orange. Like it's been ridiculous. So info, and I know there was that one like beige looking that was almost white, but um, info just stripped it down, put a red bank keeper on it, blacked out the buckle, made it really simple, legitimately a white watch. Look, this is a white T-shirt. 
And there's a watch. But it's as white as it gets, guys. I fold it good on that piece. It's a piece, quite frankly, that it's common, but you have in your collection, you wouldn't think about giving it up. Then you got the G, the DW6900 WCJ9. 2006 FIFA piece, Brazil color scheme. You see the yellow, green buttons, blue G Shock. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Work on the band, green FIFA band guard, um, World Cup trophy. Ugh, such a pretty piece. Put that back down. Move on up here to the GA110. MH7, which is a Maharishi collab. Um, I got that from that dude, by the way. And I ordered that straight up for info. I won't tell you guys where I get these pieces, in case you guys have questions. But, um, yeah. Um, Maharishi got this in Macy's. Um, this was a collab with um, European artist Maharishi to match his Bam Dazzle work. Crisscross white and black. Positive display down, up, down here. Negative up there. Beautiful white and black contrast. Six o'clock watch. Put that back down. And then you got your mirror metallic collection. DW6900 SB9. This is the mango joint. You see the speckle on the paint. Right? Actually, I don't think the SB collection had speckle on the paint. It's because it didn't. Mm, only the CB collection did. Alright, alright. Well, this is the mango joint. Really, really nice. Under the radar piece. Tough to find. Rare color. I picked this up at Against All Odds when it first dropped. Against All Odds is good with that under the radar stuff. But here's the mirror metallic. DW6900. CB2. I picked up at Macy's when they dropped. You see the mirror metallic face. And then this has the silver speckle on the paint. See that? Right there. I watch this really famous for all the collabs it's been used with. It's been used with the turbo color and the um Jordan. So yeah. And then you got a Dodge Nemesis DW6930 A4, the Iron Man Rising Red. Um a piece G Shock dropped as part of the Rising Red series when the 30th anniversary kicked off. Arch Nemesis because they're completely two different colors. Red, blue, gold, silver. Isn't that awesome? Really, really sick piece. I'll probably wear it to the Iron Man release. Iron Man, um... Yeah, will release, I guess. For the Iron Man showing this Friday. For Iron Man 3. Gold everything. It's a trouble, man. Hustle gang. All gold everything. This is my... Personal custom, DW6900, what was an MB7, which is the I Need a Dr. White m &M. And then I put a positive CS7 um, module in it. Really nice white, black, and lime green. Not much to say about this piece, but it's the only part of my collection I'm willing to let go. So, make a good offer, guys, and it's yours. Um, and then what else you got? DW6900 MM2, part of the MM collection. It had an all-blue one. <clears throat> No orange one, which is the MM4, and then there was a pink 5500. Um, this watch isn't even mine, it's my brother's. I traded him for a little while. He's holding down my GA110 RG7, which is white rose gold. But um, all blue matte outlook with the um, matte buckle. Really make this watch really, really sick. Really sick piece. But um, moving on up. What I believe is a GDF 1000 BTN1 Burton collab with the snowboarding company. Oh, gotta tell you guys where I got them. Macy's. Macy's. Um, NB7 was Macy's. CS7 was Champs. MM2 was off watch vet way back when. Um, this was also Macy's, the Burton collab. So um. Yeah, really, really sick piece. Nice size. Looks like a transformer, pretty much. Um, black with the cloth band and a really, really bright, what well, looks like white, but it's really a powder blue. Trim on it. Really, really sick. Next watch needs no intro. GA110EH8. Eric Cage collab. 
that came with the Rising Red series. Um, beautiful watch. Look at the chrome accents. Look at the colors on this. Silver speckle on the paint. Really, really sick. I picked this up from Adrian way back when, when they first dropped. See the crisscross buttons. Um, You got your DW6900 SN3. Well, technically, it's part of the Breezy Color Collection because it's SN. But the 1, the 4, and the 7 weren't really Breezy Colored. So, SN3. Oh, no, the SN, I'm sorry, was the Sneaker Collection. With 6900s, the SN was the Sneaker Collection. And then with the other watches, it was the Breezy Colors. But, um, another under-the-radar piece, kind of like the SB. It didn't really hit retailers like Macy's and such. You kind of had to find it. Whenever you find it, you hit it. Like, you have to just try to sweep it. Got this off Monty. All brand new, guys. You guys know how to do my watches. Um, and, of course, everybody's favorite, <laughs> DW6900 MS1, military style. Second G I ever picked up. You see, this has a 1289 module. Picked it up at Champs. Um, all blacked out. Guess a bit of burgundy hit, but... For the most part, everybody knows what this G is. This G's been beat up. I use it for everything. Um, moving on up. DW6900CR3, which is a croc. Part of the croc collection I just dropped. I got this at Macy's. Um, first time G-Shock ever played with the band, as far as texture goes. Um, really, really sick. There was a white and a black, but I figured if it's called the croc series, then you gotta go with the only color. Crocs are green, so it was only right to go with the green. Um, put that there, and then you have your um, GW, right? Oh, G8900 DGK. What well, would be seven because it's usually clear, but this is my G8900 DGK six because purple is six. I had T SIP from Texas modify this. And make it purple with the clear band guard. Of course, one of a kind. This is what I think the watch should have looked like in the first place. But, you know, that's not how G-Shock felt. I know it's not the only one in the country. Because I know he did do a pink and purple one afterwards. And he did die Adrian's. So there's a couple running of, the, of these running around. But your boy G-Double is the first one. Uh, let's see what else is in the back over here. Got your GD100. Oh. Um, Macy's and Macy's. Um, this I picked up at Soho on my first trip there. GD100 HC4 Hypercolor GD100. This also has a speckle on the paint. See that? With the clear red band guard. <laughs> really, really hard color to, I mean, watch to combinate with, but if you know how to do it, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, I call it the party mix because if you've eat, ever eaten Utz party mix, the bag is like red, orange, green, and blue. So the colors match perfectly. Um, really, really sick watch. Throw that in the back. And what else we got over here? This is your G9000MX4 Original Mudman Series Motocross Series. The red was to match the Honda colors. Um... Second toughest one to come across, the MX colors. The blue is the toughest, MX2. Got this a Champs as a gift way back when. Really, really nice watch. Really heavy duty. Nice for, like, dirt bike and all that good stuff. Um, what's next? Jason G001-8. Um, I know there's a bunch of Jasons out there, but I wanted one that really resembled Jason Voorhees. And these colors have Voorhees written all over them. Really, really nice. The Jasons grow on you. If you don't have one, you might want to get that. Sick piece. Uh, and then we start into the cardboard box limiteds back here. This is the only watch I keep in the plastic. Oh, the Jason, I got it against all odds. And this I got at the Soho signing when Nigel was there. GD100, GD101, NS1, the Blackout Nigel, matte black with the Jungle Safari trim. I spoke to Nigel personally, that's what he said it was supposed to be. Silver eyes, and then the glossy inside face. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Very underrated. Ask Kevin Giordano. He just got his first one. 
um, Aqua Team, I believe, is the next piece. DW6900 um, AS for Adult Swim. Um, 8, because it is that chalky gray look, it's not really white. Pink interface. Um, Aqua Team Hunger Force was the cartoon they chose, obviously. Number one in the hood in the bottom. And you can see the stripes, I mean the shapes from the cartoon characters. This I originally got from Zoomies' website, but then I traded that off and I, got, I ended up getting it back from Silver Sky. So, yeah, that's that. And then what's next? This is your Battleship Grey, of course. GLX 6900XA2. Really nice piece. Um, information collab. Really nice summer. The, it looks nice when the light hits that red interface. Because it's kind of like glossy, shiny. Really, really nice. Blacked out buckle. Got this from Mikey35, the man himself. Um, and then you have your 98 FIFA. This is, I believe, the DW6900. WC8. 98 FIFA, gray jelly with the silver interface. Really, really hard to, to come by a piece that resembles this. Really, really sick. Of course, it has brothers. It has a red jelly, a black jelly, a white jelly, and a blue jelly. There was five watches out here. But um, the gray is definitely one of the nicest. Blue is nice, too, actually. But, um, got this from the Japanese site. And then Adrian helped me scoop it up to finish the deal. And I can't find the hole, guys. It's not a problem I have often. <laughs> uh, I found the top one, I guess. So that helps out. There you go. And then last but not least, what I consider one of my few grails. Because my collection resembles watches that are other people's grails. But I don't really have my own grails. I really have three grails. And this is one of the three. Actually, I have four. And I have two of the four. But this is it right here. GW6900. K7 ICERC Love the Sea and the Earth collab. Um, beautiful, beautiful watch. White, navy, blue with the jelly band. You see the pink trim on the all is one. And on the ICERC, got the whale for the button. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Ugh. Adrian helped me pick this up from the Japanese site. And then moving on over here to the watches that quite frankly don't fit in the drawer anymore. The back three chill on my desk. The front three are usually in my second drawer. Here we go. We got what I call the GLX 5600DH2 TCF. Danny Handsome's custom strictly 4G dub. Part of his Geisha custom um, collection. Powder blue back and buckle. Um, dyed dark blue. Face. You got the temperature sensitive um, writing. Really, really sick piece. Oh, that's just gross. And then you have, of course, your suicide clot DW6900. That was straight from Danny, of course. Um, DW6900CL4. Suicide version with the blacked out buckle and the acrylic thick suicide case. The client needs no introduction. This is what I would consider my second grail because it is a suicide version. I know a lot of people are itching for that watch. And then you have your DW6900. Oh, I got that from Chavo. Appreciate that, brother. This is your DW6900 um, MTC from Metacom Toy 7. This is the bear break. This watch needs no introduction. Reminiscent of a white D and Ricky. But this watch is really sick. Really, really sick. I've only worn it once. And that was to the Nigel signing in Willowbrook. Um, you got your Info GLX 6900 XA9. The Rastafarian One Love version. Oh, really, really sick. Another piece that a lot of people call their grail. I just happened to get brand new unbox from Tim in the UK. Appreciate that, brother. Really, really nice watch. You got your info, Pink Salmon GLX 5600 X4. Beautiful watch, another one of Info's collabs. The 
Pink Salmon with the dull gold interface. Really, really sick piece. Put that back. And then last but not least, you have my latest pickup. G001 SN2 Breezy Color Jason Foundation piece. Uh, this watch is so underrated, and not so many people have this. Wheezy wore it in the video to scream and shout the remix. This watch is just, uh. But yeah. There you go, guys. That's your boy G Dubs Collection. Quick run through without the flash so you guys can see these backlights. But um, that's it. 33 strong. There's a couple watches that are missing that my brother's holding down, like the DW6900 WW7. The, um, he has a GR2310 piece too. It's really nice. Um, a solar powered. And then he also has the, my GA110 RG7 that he's holding down. So yeah, quick run through one more time. I'm gonna kill this flash so you guys can see these backlights. Maybe I'll talk to you guys a little bit in the process. But there's your navy blue. Here's your crank. Backlight. Here's your Wu-Tang backlight with the Wu-Tang's um, sign. And then here's your polarized backlight. The purple look to it. Making it hard for the camera to focus, but I think you guys can. Ah, there it is. And then this is your GLX info piece. Whew, dual LED on the backlight. Really, really sick. And then you have your FIFA um, mascot on the backlight. Moving on up to the Maharishi with your custom or with your typical GA110 backlight. And then you have your SB9 mango piece with the mango backlight. Your CB2 with the classic deep blue backlight. And then what else you got? Oh, your Iron Man with the teal backlight. Moving on. You got your recently changed battery on my custom piece. That would be your positive display CS module backlight. Um, the MM2 backlight. Again, the deep blue. The DGK, of course, has the modified DGK look. There it is, DGK on the backlight. Let me get that again for you guys. See? Put that back down. What's this? Your croc. Has that deep green backlight. What's this? MS1, of course, needs no introduction. Everybody knows what that is. Um, I have no idea what that is. That is an SN3, of course, with the purple backlight. As you can see. Um, this is your haze. That's your haze. This is your Burton. LED. Here's the brightest of them all. The HC4. Um, and then you got what's this? The Mudman piece. Really hard to press the button on this, but it has a dual illuminator, as you can see. And then you got your Jason with your um regular teal backlight. Um, dual LED on the Nigel. Then you got your Aqua Teen with the Sat Erg face. In case you guys didn't see that, make that again. See? Sat Erg, Erg face. Battleship Gray with the Surf's Up sign. And then you got your FIFA piece with the 98 FIFA. Mascot on the backlight, the whale on the dolphin and whale piece. As you saw, <clears throat> can't hit the backlight on some of these. 
But um, let's see what I can give you. I can give you the teal one of the SN Breezy Color Jason. See the info. It says Aloha. The one love. That says one love. Um, bear brick. You guys know has the bear brick logo. Clot has the Illuminati clot sign. And that, of course, this one I have to show you because it has the Geisha custom. Backlight. Kill Flash. The Danny Handsome Geisha. But that's it. That's it. That's your boys. 30 G Dubs, 33 pieces. Shout out to everybody in that thing of ours. Shout out to the TCF, of course. Shout out to everybody. I don't shout out on the, in, on the daily. Brian Spin, like, I've been forgetting you a lot in shout outs, bro. I'm so sorry. You know, I got enough full of you. Matter of fact, you get your, you're the only one that gets a shout out in this video. So, this video is dedicated to Brian Spindler, brother from another mother. And one more person I like, Brian. Corey. Because I tend to forget Corey from time to time, too. Shout out to everybody else. Shout out to everybody in that little thing of ours. Um, you know how we do, man. We eliminate the darkness. All right, one G at a time. So, with that being said, your boy G Dub signing off for you guys. Keep um, commenting to that video, the giveaway video. If y'all want that giveaway to happen, keep doing it. If not, it looks like nobody's getting pieces. Yeah, that's me flashing. <laughs> so, your boy G Dub loves you guys. Um, shock the world, one G at a time. Illuminate the darkness, one G at a time. Other than that, your boy signing off from PA and the East Coast. Holla at me.